Right guys, so I haven't posted much in the last few weeks. I had um, cataract surgery done a few weeks ago and it was quite painful and quite bright in the light and it's hurting a bit with TV and monitor screens and that. And then after a week I started get, getting red eye around me, white and centers. So I had an infection, so I had to go back to the hospital and they just said to up, update me drops and get some lubricating drops. So I'd done that and it still didn't really clear up. So the last few days it's still getting more irritated by the light and I got a 15 inch TV five foot away from me and on me right eye, I can't even see the writing pro properly. So it's been hard to do anything really. And I was answering my emails earlier, but I thought I was supposed to go back to hospital today, but because I'm a dick, I went down the train station on the normal platform. I didn't realize to change it to the other platform, so I missed my bloody train into Exeter. And I got to get a bus from Exeter station to the hospital and back again. And so I missed that one, so now I've had to phone them up and rearrange another appointment. But I thought while I'm doing this video, I will do um, gameplay. This is only um, Nights into Dreams, where I've added some mods because, first of all, it said you had to launch it with Steam. So I put on a different Steam API file so you can launch it from the launcher. Put on a different launcher because it would only be 4.3. And I've also added. Um, it only ever run at 30 frames per second. There is a mod out there to make it 60 frames per second, but can I get it to work? No. So when you um, extract it, open the folder. And this is another new version of lossless scaling. So if you start that first, What this one does, it adds frame generation to pretty much any game. You can add scaling type, but it does work better just with frame generation. And you have this mode here where you can add two frames or you can even add three frames. So when you add frames, this runs at 30 frames per second, then you add times two so it's running artificially at 60 frames per second because it's adding frames in between a generated frame at the beginning then it adds a frame then you've got a frame exiting so you get one extra frame added to the game so it, it makes the rotation in the game smoother it's not really adding frames per second but it's um in it's like um, making them up so it does feel a lot better. And to be honest, with this program, with like FSR frame generation, I've noticed on a couple of games there's lag. But with lots of scaling, I haven't noticed any difference. So you have to run the game in window mode. So if I start the launcher, and it launches here, launcher.exe. You have options here so you don't want it on full screen you want it just below so I'm running it just below 4k so then it'll upscale the screen and add in the frames you can do this two ways when you run in that window to make it full screen you either can use the hotkey which is alt F or you can click the scale then launch game and it will scale it in five seconds so if I go to scale and launch a game down here right I don't know if uh, this, gonna, this recording is going to be alright or not because it might be a buck there's <sighs> neither NVIDIA Shadow Play won't record frame generation. Uh, 
So I'm going to try again. I don't know what the recording is going to come out like. As you can see, um, I'm sorry, Afterburn, I never picks it up right. As you can see, I got 60 frames per second from action. And I've, also got, I've also got 60 frames per second from um, lots of scaling. I've done bloody half hour recording of this and Shadow Play just, you know, it said like pretty much like bollocks, it, it won't record. When you're using frame generation, so I've had to go on to action. But action sometimes you get a lot of lag in the video, but the gameplay is fine. Idea is to collect the um, bulbs and get like the blue balls, yellow balls, and stuff like that. You've got to put them into here. Once it's all full, you go to the next level. And you can either get them by going through them, or you can. Go around the circles and make a complete circle, and it takes them all at one time. Technically, you've got to get back to your little port on time before you run out of time or you land on the floor because you haven't got your suit and then Then you bounce backwards. Game controller. It never works properly. 
I've got to take out the big baddie. I can't remember, I think I've got to throw him in something. Um. Oh shit. I think I've got to throw him into that pillar. Ow. I'm gonna get hit in these seconds, so I don't think I'm gonna beat him. That's it. No, I didn't beat him, but there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed it anyway.